Good morning folks, my name is Jeffrey here, welcome to my very first video. Today I'm going to share a game that is played between Takemiya Masaki, the master of Sun Rensei, against Chochikun, the master of Tetro gameplay. This game is played in 1987, January 8th. It's a 12th Japanese Meijin event. And in this game, we're going to see how Takemiya Masaki is using his Sun Rensei with all the influences to attack and how Chochi Kun, as the white player who gets all the territories, trying to destroy the potential of the Black Moyo. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the game. Stay back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I'll also be throwing in some comments in between. So here, the Masaki Sensei opens with signature Sun Rensei. Chochi Kun Master getting two Sun Suns here. So we will see a extreme ends of the playstyle of these two players. Masaki Sensei goes with a pincer. Chochi Kun Sensei taking the corner. So Chikun Sensei attacks another corner here with Masaki Sensei getting another pincer. Now Chochi Kun Master uses a little bit of changes here on the Joseki. At this point, it becomes a Sun Rensei versus a uh, Sun Sun game. And here we see how Chochikun Sensei still being very calm making a corner enclosure from the Sun Sun over here. Still not worrying about this Moyo over here. This is something that I think beginners can learn without being too aggressive or too jealous of what Black has this Moyo. Next we'll see how White actually invades this area and destroys potential and how Black is actually attacking White. Maximizing the Moyo size. And this is where the interesting part starts. For many, it's a dangerous thing, but we'll see how White actually tries to manage this cutting point splendidly. So with this cut, White decides to attack these two stones while building some strength to his four stones over here. This Kema threatens the cut and Black defense. So it's the same day exchange, and now white gets at least one eye in this small little area. Black defense. And this move is a splendid move to defend against the cut. You can see there's a potential ladder over here, which black doesn't get out. So black has to defend. Again, a sente move. So now, Potential is not as scary as it seems anymore. 
white getting out because there's only one eye over here. And now black attacks the white side. So what has gained enough treasury and now all the focus is just about trying to make this center group life. So white has to compensate for a little bit of losses on this stone especially, which black happily attacks. But there's still RG over here and we'll see how the game develops over time. Now white's not rushing to save his stone. There's no obvious attack from black yet. So white trying to take more treasury from that side potentially also giving an out for this stone. Now black attacks, and this is where white starts to put some pressure on black. Cut. So sacrifice two instead of one, giving more complications to blacks. Capturing race. And here again, we see another splendid move that we can all learn, the clam. Because of these two stones, the clam now potentially gives uh, some complications over here with a capturing race and white can make a good shape on here. So black has to eat and capture the stones here cleanly. And white jumps out of danger. Still unsettled, of course. A leaning attack. Now with all the ships and the escape route here cutting off, White decides to look for chances over on top. Black is still thin, so there's still some potentials. Cutting point now becomes a weakness because white is strong. Great chance for white to get out the head. And now we see how Chochiko and Master ignoring this side at all and trying to go and destroy the potential over here. This jump was crucial. It threatens to actually save this stone out. So Black has to capture it. And that's the same thing. So White continues its jumping. Clamp. Oh, this is. No choice, white has to sacrifice the stone. Jumps out of danger. Now we see how this stone will potentially aid this escape route over here. So black has to cut off that option.
and again white with a very splendid move threatening to capture these two stones and creating an iron center Now we see another Tesuji from Chochi Kun Sensei. Thanks to this stone over here. The nose Tesuji. Splendidly controlling these two stones. And again, very splendid Kusumi over here. Trying to threaten the cutoff. Then capture. Black gives an Atari, white defense. And now black, it's mentioned there's a cutting point here. Black has to defend this cutting point. Trying to cut off the stones. And all of a sudden, the stones, which was held captive almost, now becomes alive. Cutting point, but black has no time to protect it, so white taking advantage. Now we see another potential eye over here, so one, two, and white is almost now in control of the game. Attacking this black stone, now the tables have turned. Crucial. So good move here, not being greedy on the Tari. Making sure strong shape is being enforced. Now white making the first eye over here and because the black stones here are now weak thanks to the cut and this move over here so this is not a good eye shape yet and black has to be wary of these stones running out capturing and now white has a chance to keep attacking And the game is decided on this point onwards. Very nice move. Black couldn't make the cut here. Has to go back. Sorry. And another splendid defense by White. And at this point, Takemiya Masaki Sensei, knowing that this whole group of White Stones is perfectly alive. One eye over here and then another eye on this side. Then she'll eye again on here. And Black has not enough points all over the board. So White wins with resignation from Black. And that's how you play against the Sun Rensei. I hope you learned something. If you liked the video, please help me to share and you can also like the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next game.